I'm sure you know what painters do. Maybe you've even done it. Have you ever helped out painting around the house or perhaps on a summer job? But how do you think the White House stays white or those offices and those skyscrapers get finished? Skilled IUPAT commercial painters. That's how. IUPAT painters are thoroughly trained to be the best and most qualified painting professionals for all commercial projects. Painters apply paint and other decorative finishes to residential, commercial, and other structures. They are able to choose the right paint or finish for the surface to be covered by taking into account durability, ease of handling, method of application, and customer desires. Some IUPAT painting projects require an artistic touch for the restoration of historic buildings, and IUPAT painters are well prepared to handle these and any other painting job. What do commercial painters do? Typically, a commercial painter will be tasked with the final stages of a construction job in places like office buildings, hospitals, and shipping centers. The finishing touches, so to speak. The types of tasks performed by a commercial painter on the job are varied. You may fill cracks, holes, or joints with caulk, putty, plaster, or other fillers. Cover surfaces with drop cloths to protect surfaces during painting. Smooth surfaces using sandpaper, scrapers, brushes, steel wool, or sanding machines. Paint spills, dust from sanding, and other materials must be cleaned and removed from a completed job site. As a commercial painter, you'll paint walls, buildings, and other structural surfaces using brushes, rollers, and spray guns as laid out in the work plan or specification. When you walk into an office building, a school, or government facility, do you ever wonder how it got there? Do you look for the imperfections in the walls you pass in a renovated building? Are you unafraid of heights? Can you see the structure behind the wall in your mind's eyes? If you can, you might be the kind of person to consider drywall finishing as a trade. Drywall finishers, or tapers as they are sometimes known, prepare unfinished interior drywall panels for painting by taping and finishing joints and imperfections. A drywall finisher may work in the commercial or residential industry, either for a subcontractor or a general construction company. The perfect walls you pass by every day are the result of flawless joint work, invisible, perfectly sanded seams, and often the work of IUPAT drywall finishers. So exactly what does a drywall finisher do? A drywall finisher will apply joint compound into and along the side of the joint between two hung drywall panels and use a paper tape to cover the seams between panels, resulting in a uniform and almost perfect surface when finished. Additionally, as a drywall finisher, you would fill cracks, holes, and joints with plaster or other fillers, smooth surfaces using a vacuum sander, climb scaffolding and use drop cloths or tape, create decorative finishes, installing bead, wall and ceiling work, use automatic tools. You'll learn to use stilts and styles to reach ceilings and high walls. Finally. You'll remove dust from sanding and other plastering materials from a completed job site. Have you ever wondered how those massive bridges and towers you see all the time get painted? Who paints the bridges, locks, dams, storage containers, buildings, and battleships of this great country? Skilled IUPAT industrial painters do. That's who. More correctly, industrial coating application specialists do. Industrial coating application specialists apply techniques to prepare substrates for coating and lining application. The techniques utilized may include the removal of rust and previously applied hazardous coatings. They will use industry-specific techniques to apply coatings to protect our nation's bridges and buildings, power generation plants, and nuclear facilities. They do rigging and containment work and maintain our nation's infrastructure. They also have excellent mechanical skills and a willingness to travel extensively. Because of this, these specialists are required to receive more specialized training in health and safety due to the hazards associated with their work. In today's environmentally conscious culture, the industrial coating application specialists must also be careful to protect the environment surrounding the work site to ensure that hazardous debris, such as lead-based paint and abrasive blasting material, is properly contained and disposed of according to stringent federal, state, provincial, and local regulations. This often requires the rigging of intricate containment systems and work platforms. Coating application specialists often operate spray painting equipment to apply protective coatings to manufactured items or structures. 
The types of tasks they perform as industrial coding application specialists are many, and they are varied. As a coding application specialist, you would prepare surfaces to be coded by using various methods, abrasive blasting, high pressure washer. You would also apply or install protective linings to steel and concrete structures. Additionally, you would operate automatic spray guns, set nozzles, and synchronize the action of guns. Rigging may also be a responsibility, using pulleys, booms, braces, and cables to attach hooks, chains, and cables to lift loads safely in rig safety harnesses. Finally, you would clean nozzles, containers, and hoses of machines. Industrial coating application specialists usually work in noisy factories or construction environments. Most of their time is spent standing or bent over. Protective clothing, such as respirators and goggles, must be worn when handling hazardous materials. Do you look up in awe at the sheer cliff faces of glass and steel making up the canyons of our modern-day cities and think, I could do that? Are you unafraid of heights, no matter how high? Do you take pride in your work? Are you detail-oriented and serious-minded about your work? Are you a team player, dependable, reliable, punctual, and consistent? Does the prospect of working with detailed measurements and exacting procedures challenge you? If it does, you might be the kind of person to consider an apprenticeship as a glazer in the IUPAT. So exactly what does a glazer do? An architectural glass and metal technician is called a glazer. A glazer is responsible for selecting, cutting, installing, replacing, and removing all types of glass, engineered materials used in creating the envelope of a building. The creative use of large windows, glass doors, skylights, and sunroom additions make buildings bright, airy, and inviting. Additionally, you could be glazing interior work, creating storefronts, installing decorative handrails, and even installing high-end shower doors. But it doesn't stop there. As a glazer, you would be responsible for work on the glass exteriors of large commercial buildings, replacing storefront windows for establishments such as supermarkets, auto dealerships, or banks. You'll be cutting, grinding, polishing, and using sealants, of course. The handling of sheets of glass in the warehouse and during transportation and installation, using slings and power lift devices, like scissor lifts and forklifts. Promoting the application of green technology, solar technology, and sustainability through the design and installation of energy-efficient weatherization materials and solar technology in both residential and commercial applications. Working with pre-cut and mounted glass and frames at a factory or a contractor shop. Preparing work either inside or outside a building and use scaffolding and elevated lifts for installations. Perform administrative tasks such as preparing estimates and invoices, tracking a job, and estimating manpower. As you can see from this long list, glazers perform hundreds of tasks related to glass and many other materials. Have you ever been to a boat or auto show? How about a consumer product show? Did the design of the sign on a local business or a billboard on a highway catch your eye? Did you like what you saw? Did you think it would be great to be part of the show? If you answered yes to any of these questions, pursuing a career in the IUPAT trade show or sign and display crafts may be right for you. Signage is crafted to meet the requirements of the customer using innovative and high quality workmanship. So exactly what does a trade show worker do? Trade show workers move and handle freight, rig equipment, and set up and dismantle exhibits and modular systems. They transform empty facilities into a full show presentation quickly and efficiently. Your work as a trade show worker can vary greatly depending on your employer, but your daily tasks could include rigging and hanging signs and decoration, installing and removing carpet, pipe and drapes, consulting with clients about design requirements, interpreting sketches and three-dimensional computer-generated images, so exactly what does a sign and display worker do? Sign and display craftspeople design, fabricate, construct, paint, and install interior and exterior signage using a variety of materials, such as metal, vinyl, glass, plexiglass, wood, neon, and plastic. Most common tasks are lettering for windows and vehicles, plastic and neon signs, and signage for trade shows, office complexes, shopping plazas, and other locations. You'll perform a variety of duties that require knowledge of a broad variety of materials and many different tools 
such as applying paint backgrounds by brush, spray, or roller, hand painting lettering, as in traditional sign making, or bending glass into shape and fitting basic electrical wiring, if producing illuminated or animated signs, cutting sign frames out from aluminum, installing signs on site, which may be done at a height, Font differences in size, shape, contour, or form of the floors and the rooms you enter? Do you enjoy working with a variety of different hand tools? Are you able to bend, kneel for long periods of time, lift and perform work that is physically demanding? Do you enjoy planning a job from start to finish? If you answered yes to most of these questions, pursuing a career as an IUPAT floor coverer may be for you. So what exactly does a floor coverer do? Floor coverers install a wide variety of flooring materials, including carpet, tile, vinyl, and wood. They are experts at estimating materials, understanding pattern layout, and safely and properly using the industry's many tools, adhesives, and fastening systems. Professional floor covering installers from the IUPAT are found in commercial, residential, and institutional settings. Work is often done based on specifications of architects, facility managers, or interior designers. So, as a floor coverer, you would inspect, measure and mark surfaces to be covered. Cut carpet padding to size and install padding, underlay, install carpet on floors using adhesives, or stretch carpet to align with walls and ensure a smooth surface. Use a knee kicker or power stretcher, a staple gun, or other devices. Use adhesive, rollers, and other hand tools according to blueprints and around obstructions using tape measurers, straight edges, or squares knives, and snips. Measure, cut, and install resilient floor covering. Install hardwood floors, such as strip floors, block floors, or plank floors. Inspect and repair damaged floor coverings. Sweep, scrape, sand, or chip dirt and irregularities to clean base surfaces. Explore your bold future today by considering a career in the IUPAT.